Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyopolis 5. In the last episode, the very first episode of the series, we got ourselves a couple farms. We've got a tree farm, a wheat farm, and then we've also got ourselves a little grassy patch here. And an infinite water source. So, very basic start so far. I'm just going to go and grab the bones from the skeletons that were burning. So it's been a very basic start so far, but hopefully we'll be able to make some more progress in this episode. So the next thing we need to work on is this strainer here. So we need to get the strainer base, the string mesh, and so those bits there. So what are we missing? We're missing a chest, a hopper, and some fences. This should be easy peasy. Okay, so is that everything I need to craft that now? Yes, so there's my strainer. Requires... So this needs to be underneath a water source block. So I think I'm just going to build it in here. I make this little aqua catalyst which then turns this mulch into some water. And then place that underneath it there. So now I need to get this string mesh and the survivalist strainer. So the string mesh seems easy enough to craft. Have I got enough of this string? No, but I can mean I can make some nice and easily. This is definitely a, an interesting mod pack so far. But I would like to get through it into the more advanced sections. Nice and speedy. Look at that. Okay, so it's now getting me. So no problems detected. So what exactly is that going to provide for me? So the quest seemed to think blank pebbles and blank dust. So I can check the efficiency there. So strainer type 0%, enchantment 0, fluid level, biome. Okay, so it's really inefficient, basically. In the basic loot bag. Oh, a lapis shovel. That's decent. Where did I get this flint sword? I must have got that. Did I get that from the same thing I just opened? I don't know. Anyway, that's better than the sword I have. Well, hey, blank pebble and blank dust. So I've completed a whole section here now. So strainers is complete. Organic stuff I'm not so fussed on. So how exactly do I create a flower loop block box? Okay, that's not so bad. We might as well just complete off that section while we're here. How much grass did I get from a minute ago? So flower loop bag, right click to open. Just gets me a bunch of flowers. Surprise, surprise. Right, so I'm completing up quite a bit. Are we ready to move on to the advances here? Weak enriching water catalysts. Yes, I can do those now. Now what does that do? Drop into water source blocks to create weak enriching water. Okay. And then what will enriching actually do for me? Uh, looks like I can get different types of rocks. Totem of Void Undying, that's probably going to be useful. A clock. Okay. Why not? Right, so grab myself more of those. So I need another blank pebble. Solid Lightning Water. What the hell is that? Right, so it looks like these catalysts are some of the main things in the game here. Oh, and it is from Skyopolis mod. So this is definitely unique to the mod. But that's what I need. So dropping into a water source block will create weak enriching water. So do I drop it into this water here? 
to get strained out. Is that what I need to do? Or does it need a whole separate one? Okay, but by dropping blank pebbles into the water will get me this. Okay. So now I just need to have a separate water source. So we need another one of these things to create water. And then I want to do like a, a hopper straight into a chest. Okay, so I take my catalyst here, make the water, and then make the... Okay, maybe the hopper was a mistake to begin with. I can probably just pick it up. It did say drop into a water source block. What just happened? Did I lose that? Right, I need to make another one of those now. That's really annoying. I don't know exactly how. I think that turned the flowing bit into the enriching water. Which isn't good because it just flowed away. And then I need... I haven't got enough blank pebbles. Come on, give me some. Right, so let's try this again. There we go, there's my enriching water. And then we need to just get the hopper onto the chest there. So now if I throw this stuff in, it's going to not have enough time to turn. Okay, the hopper thing isn't the best idea. Okay, but I can chuck it in there anyway. And it spits it all out. So I've got clay, grout, gravel and sand. Oh, I've got a blank bucket. Cre drop into any water to create a bucket of that water. That, that sounds like a one-time use type thing. So... I'll maybe save that. Oh, an iron furnace. Is that better than a gold one? No, I don't think so. And waste. What the hell is waste used for? Strong enriching water catalyst. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm getting the waste from here. I didn't get that from a quest. So now I guess I need to make it into blocks. I mean, I don't really know what I'm going to do with these blocks. And then a mixed stone fragment. So I craft all of those together to make that. And then what do I do with that? Raw mixed stone. And then cook it into a raw mixed ingot. Which is used for... Spray cans. Is that it? Just spray cans. Okay, why am I getting something to make spray cans? Unless that's used for something else that's just not in the crafting recipe. Right, so I've let this run for quite a while then. It's gone AFK. And now we have a whole bunch of pebbles and dust. Make a mixed stone fragment. I still don't know entirely sure why we need to be doing this. But that should be, after this, that should be another section completed. And I, I still need to do the totems. So I can get the blank totem from clay. That's easy enough. Right, so there's a blank totem. And then the totem of void untying. Okay, that's... How does it expect us to get that? Oh, we can just cook it. So between all of these expensive ingredients and then just a furnace. There we go, totem of void undying. Oh, I've just got another one. A parrot egg. Should we get ourselves a parrot this time and actually pick it up? Yay! Right, so now that's done. 
that whole section's complete. The re weak enriching water. So now smelting. So we can use we can get cobblestone. So stone pebbles and blank pebbles can make it. Okay, so it looks like next thing is we need to set ourselves up a tinker's contract construct smeltery. So we need to get ourselves some of this cobblestone. Which we can get from a stone pebble and then some of the blank ones. Then, I mean, I've got a better furnace than that one. I think I still need to make it. I think I do. So I just need to farm a bunch of these. Maybe I need to make multiple strainers. I need to make some better strainers. Okay, I've got myself three more strainers here, which I'm going to stick up here. I will get myself a little hopper collection system in first. So I guess I'll put the chest there and I need to get underneath with four hoppers. Okay, then all the hoppers just feed into that chest there. So does that work? Yes, that doesn't look like it's sucking that up. So we've got my three strainers. And then my meshes. Okay, so that should be plenty of pebble collections now. Or the blank pebble and the blank dust. Uh, we're going to need another strainer there in a second. Another mesh. Because they only have a certain amount of uses. And I've very nearly exceeded that first one. Right, let's have a look. Oh no, keep that totem of void undying on there. So what's the efficiency now? Minus 45%. What? Why do the strainers make it worse? Well, that's annoying. I, I thought adjacent strainers would make it better. Whatever, I've done this now. And it's getting me exactly what I need. Still don't know what I can buy with sky bucks. But cobblestone complete. I didn't mean to pin that. Can we get enough stone for a furnace yet? So there's some stone. And then we just need to combine it with some blank ones. Which I bet I haven't got enough of just yet. Right, so that unlocks that part of the quest. So now we need to get seared bricks, which is by smelting the grout we've been getting. How much grout have I got? 11. And that is the best way of cooking it. Uh, maybe I should cook up some charcoal to begin with. Alright, so things are starting to go really well here. We've got we're starting to get some basic resources. We've got so much of this waste. But I think the only thing it's used for... Oh, hold on. Put it into ultimate enriching water. We can get some blank stuff. Okay, that's good. So we do not want to save that then. Are there any sort of item pipes I can make at my current tech level? I don't think so. No, I couldn't make any of that. Right, well that's probably enough charcoal for a little bit. And then I need to smelt up some glass. There are augments in here. I didn't realise that. Okay, so we've got some glass and some seared brick now. 
So we can make a staff onto Tinkers here. So this is what we need. And I think that just needs to be on top of a basic tank. If I'm, it's been a while since I've done this, that's the problem. What does the quest book say? How are we supposed to heat it up? A seared heater. Okay, I think that's best. Until we get lava, we're going to need a seared heater. But I need more grouts. A lot more. This thing just isn't fast enough. In the next episode, we'll separate this out and try and make it a bit more efficient. Okay, so I should be able to make myself a seared heater. And then a seared melter. So we'll chuck some of the charcoal we've just put in there. No fuel found. What, what's that right there? And then we can melt whatever. Do you need a faucet? We need more seared bricks. I haven't got any. We haven't got any ingots to test it out just yet. But that's a good start. Right, so we're mixing up the grout into the seared thing here. There we go, see, look, I've made up one block of it. Uh, I d this wasn't really a good idea just yet, as I don't have a basin to draw it out into. But at least I know it works. So I was looking in here and I need to get this andesite alloy so I can get into the create mod a bit. But that requires seared brick poured over andesite. Problem is this thing's just not fast enough. That's that's gonna be our problem for quite a while until we get a proper automated setup going. That's super fast. But alright, I think I'll leave the episode here here and hopefully build up some of the enough of these seared bricks in between the next episode and then we'll make this a bit more efficient i'm sorry para i didn't mean to punch you we'll make this a bit more efficient and then hopefully get things working a bit better so thanks for watching and i'll see you then goodbye